interrupted in the congressional record. Without objection. Senator Madam, from Virginia. Madam President, very briefly, I know we're about to begin the vote. Um, the, the Paul Amendment is, is one that is uh, based on a sentiment that I think many of us agree with, that the 2001 authorization needs revision. He proposes to repeal it, but not for six months, giving us time to do the revision. I will vote against it, but would look forward to working with him or others and the administration to find out what an appropriate revision should be. I don't think we should leave a gap. And with respect to the Graham Amendment, a colleague is a good friend. The, the president has the ability to take action against Iranian-backed militias in Iraq. The president is doing that every day, not based on the 2002 authorization. I agree with my colleague from New Jersey. This is a debate about ending a war authorization that's gone on for 20 years, not on the floor without committee action coming up with a new authorization against a new enemy. If we need to do that, we can discuss it in committee. But the good news is the president has Article II power to defend against Iranian-backed militias in Iraq and is doing it every day. With that, I would urge a no vote on both the Graham and Paul amendments. Thank you. Madam President. Senator from Kentucky. I call up my amendment number two and ask that it be reported by number. Without objection, the amendment will be reported by number. The Senator from Kentucky, Mr. Paul, proposes an amendment number two. Under the